What's the most toxic thing you've ever done? Name me your yeah, top three. Man. Top three? I've got a top ten. What happens when you mix blind dating with speed dating? One dater will have 30 minutes to secure a blind date. Don't like your date? Electrocute them. <laughs> Feeling the vibes? Then go for the reveal. Okay, cool, lovely stuff. Let's see who will secure a bay. Okay, that's interesting. And who will be leaving alone today? So, Claudia, how come you're back? Because men hate me. Uh, no, obviously I've been on back to back before and I ended up with a date, but the date didn't actually go anywhere. We weren't really feeling each other. I'm back again, hopefully to find the love of my life. Cuffing season's here, winter wonderland is open and I want to get off the streets. I don't belong there. I don't think my date in life has changed whatsoever. I just get loads and loads of money from random men who think I'm pretty. And there's just loads of weirdos in my DMs. There's not actually any potential people for me to date. So I'm back here because men are just not doing it. So hopefully you've got some good pics for me today. Sounded like you farted. <laughs> I heard that as well, wasn't it? Face mask love. Do you know what? That sounds like such a COVID reference. <laughs> what, face mask love? Yeah. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm not even going to ask you anything else apart from my first question. Are you into pegging? What? What kind of question? That's why, my first question. Why I'm so a... early? You don't even know my name. You haven't even asked my What's name, name, but Hamid. Hamid, are you into pegging? I'm not, I'm not into it as of right now in my life, but I could see my, you know, Future, like, you know, possibly. Like, I don't want to ever say never to certain things. You know, back in the day when I was younger, um, <laughs> I used to say no to giving head and that. And then now I'm a madman with it, so I don't want to say no. You know what I mean? I can't say no to. It sounds certain... like you're trying to sell yourself sexually. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm just saying like I don't want to say no. You know what I mean? It might uh, come. But right now it's not something I'd say I'm into. Can I ask you a question then? Yeah, but after my second question. Okay, go ahead. Then. So if not pegging, what's your wildest fetish? Wow. This is what you came here to do. I mean, we went from pegging, you kind of should have expected the next one to be a bit mad, do you know what I mean? How wild can I get? I mean, it's YouTube, so it's not like BBC, do you know what I mean? We're not going to get censored. I, 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 like, I like to get my ass ate. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a, is that a wild fish? Fair enough. That, I mean, I would never eat a man's ass, so... Why? Why am I doing that? I don't understand. That's actually the question I like was going to ask you. Like, I don't understand. It? Like, if I'm sticking something up a man's ass, I get it because no, your no, G-spot no, you is can't, there. No, 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 you can't do one or the other. Yeah, I can. You have to be your G-spot's in your bum nah, hole. Nah, it's nah, not nah, around nah, the rim. Nah, 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 I'm not fair. doing all of that. That's, okay. I'm not that's, cleaning your edges for you. That's wild. And then I have to kiss my children with that mouth. That's mad. So would you get your ass ate by your Yeah, my ass can get ate. The double standards. Yeah, listen, women. men's double standards are wild, so no, it no, can happen. I, I don't have double standards anymore. I've grown. I'm a new man. I don't believe that. I'm dead. <laughs> I, I refuse to believe it until you say that you're into pegging. No, I'm not saying that. There's no way. Not yet. See, fair Can't enough. Say it. Quick question. Do you want to show Ray and nephew? <sighs> that guy and his nephew. Why? Okay, give it. Go for it. Hope for the best. Here, okay, can you see it? Do you want to show a penny? <laughs> what? Why are you? Why did you come with this? Same why did energy? you come with head? Okay, we'll go back to take energy, it. So yeah, go, go on. Take it. Right. So next question. What do you do? I haven't taken the shot yet. Okay, but just answer while you shot. I do. I don't know. Um, I, I just live life in it. You know, nine to five, an account manager. I've got a modelling contract, but I haven't really done much work with that yet. Um, I speak Japanese a bit. Is that a thing? That Go on, say something in Japanese. Uh, konnichiwa no gaishimasu. Okay, I don't need konnichiwa because everyone knows that, so I need uh, something more than that. Uh, nani yoshimasu teka. That means what do you do for a living? Only fans. Is it? No. Oh. Uh, I work as a presenter for Link Up TV. <laughs> I work as a journalist for politics. And you might as well do an OnlyFans. Okay, well. I, okay, I could, but if I did OnlyFans, it would be like feet pics on my face. And I don't think I oh, could do the stuff that doesn't. You don't have to be too like. Yeah, there's no way I'm spreading my legs on the internet. Does that mean you ain't got no ass? Month. Are you wild? You ain't got no ass. That's why you don't want to post uh, your ass. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm Polish. It's, <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> like, there's certain I'm pretty in the face, but everything else is not happening. <laughs> do you think if you ever accidentally murdered someone, do you think you could get away with it? If it was out of revenge, yeah. If I did it by accident, yeah, I an think accidental I'd, death. Oh no, I would crumble. Like let's say I was. Ah! <laughs> Why? Why would you not be able to get rid of a body after an accidental death? Because you I be did it by accident. Yeah, well, you have to be prepared at all times. Do you not watch crime documentaries? Is that you buzzing me off because I'm not a murderer? Not because you're not a murderer, but like, what if I accidentally killed? I don't want to date this woman. She's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I gave up my life of crime. Time ago. No, do you know what? You were I'm a legit. great date up until that point. Yeah, okay, well, if you want a criminal, I'll have to stand up and, and leave you to it still. Thanks so much. Because, you know, what the hell. Can I take your rare nephew as well? As well? No, you can take your Hennessy though. So I'm, I'm dead. dead. You can have some more rare nephew. No, you should allow it. 
Why? You wanted to take the whole bottle. <laughs> so don't now say I should allow it. That one was mad. On a blind date, I don't know what she's trying to get out of me, but yeah, a bit, a bit filthy. Too filthy for my liking, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, damn, I'm a filthy person. Yo, 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 it's Claudia. Make sure you check it out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hello. Oh, hi. What's your name? Uh, my name's Hayden. What do you do, Hayden? Uh, I work for a company in central London. What company? Give me a bit more detail here. Don't um, be secretive. <laughs> um, I can't really disclose that. Oh, OK, fair yeah, enough. You yeah. have to be secretive. <laughs> a man of mystery. Right, how old are you? I'm 32. Cool. I'm asking everyone this. Are you into pegging? What's pegging? I'm just going to take that as a no and I don't really want to explicitly explain what it is on camera, but it is basically when your female partner sticks an object up your Right, no. I, I, to be honest, I, I haven't, I've never even had a relationship, so I wouldn't know. Are you a virgin by any chance? No. Uh, no, I lost my virginity when I was 28. How did you lose your virginity, I ask? Uh, I paid for a hooker. Oh, fair enough. Can I, I'm very curious about that. Can you tell me more? Was it here? Was it in another country? Uh, it was here in central London. Uh, oh, what, Soho? No, no, it was um, somewhere down in South London. Oh. So yeah. what's your opinions on South London? Then? No, well, it was all right. It's just basically, I just like, family were just concerned about me. And they said like, look, you know, you're getting kind of, you're getting on a bit now. You need to, you know, you need to do your thing. So I thought, all right, cool. Fair enough. And how much did it cost, may I ask? Uh, it cost 200 pound. Well, at least she's got some, I mean, she's got a good price range. I, I don't know how much a hooker's supposed to cost. Uh, um, what area of South London was it, may I ask? Uh, Fort and Heath. Fort and Heath, South East. All right, do you know what? <laughs> Listen, if you're from Fort and Heath, big up yourself, because that's great. Do you have any strange fetishes? Yeah, um, I like late, uh, I like women in latex, latex fetish. I've definitely got a latex fetish. I can understand that, that's oh. quite sexy. Um, right, so can you tell me two truths and a lie? Okay, so true truth is I've never had a relationship in my life. Never. That's the truth. Um, second truth is, I say I lost my virginity at 28, as you know that already. The lie is I don't have a job. Okay. I think we did the game wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Cool. It's all right. Just tell me three fun facts that you haven't told me yet. Uh, three fun facts about myself. Uh, well, I'm, well um, I'm a nice guy, uh, caring, loving, that sort of stuff. That, that's all I, I can think off the top of my head right now. Ah, ah okay, fair enough. I'm so sorry, I asked nah. for three and you gave me two and they nah. weren't really facts. That's they were fine. like observations. Cool. I accept that, cool. I'm so sorry. No, it's all right, it's You're what it is. No, don't say it's all right, tell me, give me ag aggression, make me feel bad for busting you <laughs> off. Because right, like... No, because I didn't listen to the question properly, that's my fault. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, have a lovely day, take care. Cool. You are a lovely person, that is the <laughs> correct facts, but... Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, my experience was really good. It was uh, first time on uh, set, so I was a bit nervous. I didn't really hear some of the questions that were said, that's why I got buzzed, but overall it was a good experience for me. That was wild, brother. That was mad. Um, I think uh, I'd definitely like to do it again, um, definitely, but obviously I probably would give us more questions than she's asking me more questions. I think that would be better. A hooker? A f***ing hooker? From Fortin Heath, not even Soho. Hello. Hello there. What's your name? I'm James. And what do you do, James? I'm a health assessor. Um, yeah, so I basically assess people whether they're fit to work. I feel like that's quite a unique job. I don't, don't think I've ever had <laughs> someone See? say they do that. Yeah, How old are you? you? I'm 25. How old are you? Uh, 24. Oh, so okay, cool, cool, roughly cool. the same roughly age. The same age. Now I'm going to get straight into this. Can you fight? Uh, well, I actually do Thai boxing, you know. Sick. All right, so say I got into a fight and then the girl's boyfriend got involved. Are you going to beat up the boyfriend? Oh, yeah, I'm back in it. OK, cool. Lovely stuff. If we're in a situation and I'm in the wrong. Okay. Uh, are you going to disagree with me in public or are you going to wait till we're in private? Oh yeah, no, nah, I'd, ne I'd never make it public. It's in the day, it's me and you in it. So um, I'd rather just wait till we've got the privacy and then just speak it out, you know what I mean? Very nice. No point making a scene, because then if other people get involved, then it's just, you know, it's a mad Right, it's it? meant to be like a united front, do yeah. you know what I mean? So yeah, exactly. Can you do accents? And if so, can you do your best accent for me? I can do, I'm going to scouse one. Go on. Hey kid, that's bell to that, you know. That's really good, actually. I live with a uh, Scouser. Oh, OK. One yeah, of my yeah. house mates ah, is Scouser. see, there you go. So a uh, question I've been asking everyone, and it's a bit out there, but yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm allowed to ask because we're both grown. Uh, are you into pegging? Raw. Uh, nah, you know. Oh. I mean, like, oh. Ah, uh, 
I'm so sorry. It's all right. <laughs> but I am. And I just, I wouldn't want to offer it and then... No, but... I felt like it, it started off well, you know what I mean? Obviously she was asking a couple of questions and then obviously I got buzzed off hella quick. He was really nice, but he was too nice. Like I need someone who's going to treat me like a Obviously, the question about the pegging obviously caught me off guard. Um, I'm open to trying new stuff with my partner and that, but I don't know, I suppose we were just riding different ways, you get me? Like, I need the chase. Do you know what I mean? I need a bit of a challenge. But ladies, great man there if you want one. Just not for me. I need someone who's just going to look at me and be like, shut up, you b Now, do you think you'd ever consider pegging? Uh, nah. Like, my, my mentality from five minutes ago is still the same. He's going to be, nah, you get me? I mean, it's, it's how it goes, isn't it? I, I like a charity case, I'm not going to lie. I like a man I can work on. <laughs> like, he's got to have some complexes, got to have some problems, and then I can help him fix them. I think it's just different strokes for different folks, really. Hello. You. What's your name? Apollo. How old are you? 27. What'd you do? A lot. <laughs> Why did you not ask me any of those questions back? <laughs> like, I asked you three questions, you didn't say, oh, what about you? What about you? What about you? So I'm just going to tell you information about myself. Claudia, 24, journalist. Okay, that's interesting. Do you want some Ray Nephew? I have no mixer, so yeah. it's just... Hit me. Love. You have to like... Right, seeing as we're getting waved, can you build a zoot? Of course. Can you backstrap? Of course. On a scale from one to ten, how good are you about building zoots? Say 10, 10. You said you do a lot, but I kind of want you to elaborate on what you mean by you do a lot. What do you do? Because that just might, you might be a serial killer and I don't know. <laughs> nah, I'm a stripper. Are you really? Yeah, man. I like Where? stripping and that. What okay, club? I didn't I didn't actually think you were going to actually follow up with that. Okay, I don't... I felt like you were chatty <laughs> shit, but I wanted to egg on your line, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted to see how much hey, yo, of this I didn't think you I didn't think you was going to actually follow up. Uh, flipping, what do I do? I make videos and I live. I live life, life and I love it. Kind Sick. of. You said you're a journalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I work as a presenter for Link Up TV, but, like, outside of that, I work in, like, journalism, but, like, politics. Okay. So, like, I cast Boris Johnson all the time. Are you a Tory by any chance? Listen, I don't, I don't even understand any of that. Okay, fair enough. I'll be real with you. No, you <laughs> Do you know what? As long as you're not a Tory, I'm not upset. So, living life, do you like to travel? No, not really. It depends. What? What do you mean by travel? Like, like travel to different countries? Nah, not at the moment. Because I feel like I need to flip in pattern up what I need to here first before I start taking trips, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. no, obviously you have to be secure at home before you progress anywhere mm. else, but... Like, is it something that you look forward to? Oh, like, yeah, actually, no, of course. Little, okay, because I was about to buzz you off because the way no, you made no, that no, sound no, was no, like no. you're comfy in London. You want to buzz it, me, like... buzz me, mate. Oh, don't say that because I'm going to Let's fight, let, we'll fight. fight. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. What part of London are you from? <laughs> I'm from Craydon. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as London. But, like, <laughs> it's still South, South. Yeah, we had this combo. Sick, Listen, like... everybody can write what they think, bro. Craydon is, I don't know. Listen, as long as it's South, I don't care. It's south, that's all that matters for me. As long as you're not giving me some North London bull that is absolutely oh, damn. fine. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> right, so, so I'm just gonna go in there with a hard question right now. What is the maddest porn cat re you've ever watched? That's a good question. I know what I like personally. You know, Are you into pegging? What is that? When a woman penetrates a man. Um, no. <laughs> oh, what the? F what is this behavior, Black? Like? What the f is this? Why the f am I getting electrocuted, cuz? Because you're not into pegging. What the f? <laughs> <laughs> are you done? Wait, wait, hold on. What is pegging, cuz? So, like, if you're with a girl and then you're having sex and she sticks her finger up her bum. Are you f mad? <laughs> what is. What the f? What? You're sticking your finger up man. bum? Yeah, like, listen, you, you'd need to not knock it until you try it. Men have a G spot in their bum hole. So, take a breather. I know it sounds mad, but you can test it out and it's it will change your life. I hope everybody else that's, um, um, that's with. Yeah, we don't judge here. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm gonna let you leave this date on. I want you to give us two truths about yourself and one lie. Two truths? And one lie, yeah. And I have to guess what the lie is. Okay, so two truths and one lie. All right, so... Okay, so... I have flipping... Well, two... All right, so... Two... <laughs> what the fuck? buzzing me it's so much! It's not even me anymore! What the fuck? <laughs> it's not me! We're injuring me, like... It's <laughs> not me! Just don't cry when you get home, but get out of here so I can get on with my date and maybe I'll find someone that's into pegging. Okay, I hope you do. Thank you so much. I hope you do, I hope you do. <laughs> What's this electric thing? <laughs> this electric thing. That, that was interesting. No, it was all right, still. He was judging me for pegging, and then I asked two truths and a lie, and he's just thinking for like, what, 30 
I mean, it's not difficult, do you know what I mean? And then he was upset that I kept buzzing him off and be like, what the f***, what the f***, don't swear at me. I will fight you, sir. And from Croydon, can't do that. Do you think you was buzzed off for just that reason? Honestly, don't give a s***. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be real with you. <laughs> I don't give two s***. But yeah, nah, uh, just for a reason. Yeah, I feel like I'm glad that she buzzed me at that point of the pegging thing, because I'm... I, that's, <laughs> so, so. Are you out here just pegging people? I've, I, do you know what's mad? I've actually never pegged anyone. But I'm someone that's very open sexually, and I feel like if I've got someone on a date with me that automatically says, uh, no, then it means that a lot of stuff that I want to try sexually, they don't probably want to try. I've stuck my finger in a guy's ass. I've never pegged anyone, though. Yeah, hold tight, every man, though. <laughs> but yeah, nah. If she buzzed me, I'm glad. I'm glad, I'm glad. Hey, hi, hello. Yo, what's good, baby, you right? Yeah, I'm fine, what's your name? Scylla, what's yours? Claudia, what do you do for a living? Content creation. Sick. Do you know what, I have to give it to you, you're probably the only person that's actually asked me the questions back. Everyone yeah. else just been like, yeah, my name's this. Nah, man, I have some manners, man, then, man. What's going on? Lovely stuff. All right, I am going to just jump straight into this. What's the most toxic thing you've ever done? Toxic thing? Mm. Damn. If you think about it for too long, it just means you've done too many, so I'm just going to... Yeah, yeah, I can't, I'll be real. I've done a lot. Do you know what? At least you're honest. Maybe you're yeah, top three. Man. Top three? I've got a top ten. Shh. I mean, we've only got time for three, so <laughs> just go top three. Give oh, you a memorable ones, do you know what I mean? Memorable. I've Come been on. petty. I've been petty. No, but petty's not nothing. Like, I've done wild shit. I need no, but as a man, up. you can't be petty though, innit? So when you're petty as a man, it's a bit like, rah, it's a bit toxic. Nah, I can't lie, I've refunded flowers still. <laughs> How much did they cost? <laughs> they were about, like, what? About £25? Okay, fair Cause enough. Because you know roses. They were roses. They were cheap roses, though. You know okay, cool, because if you went to, like, a f Sainsbury's and bought flowers from the flower section and then no, no, refunded wait, wait, wait. Hold on, stay there. Oh, What's hold. wrong with Sainsbury's flowers? There's nothing wrong with Sainsbury's, but I like if you actually... Sainsbury's flowers. No, because if you refunded Sainsbury's flowers, though, you're paying £5 for that. Why the f*** are you... Who actually has the time and effort to refund £5? Money's money, much. though. Every little helps. We're not doing that. <laughs> no. Right, so I've got a question for you because this seems to be a problem for everyone. So, what do you think of South London? I like South London. Cool. What are you, where are you from? I'm from North. Ah. So, where your evil twin? Yeah, you definitely are, but as long as you like South London, I ain't got a problem with you, do you know what I mean? I'm not going to beef you for it. Uh, talking of South London, can you finish this lyric for me? Uh, so much straps, I'll have a weaponry orgy. So many straps, I'll have a weaponry orgy. Uh, uh, uh. I know you know what song it is. I know what song, So I'm actually this. impressed with this, but yeah, I'm not... yeah, 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 yeah. What gives you the ick in women? The ick? Yeah. Hey, girls, you know, all up in the club, hey, like, loud that, man. Do you know that what? I'm so ick. sorry, but I'm one of those. Oh, fuck! Yo, hey, this hurts, man. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I was doing you a favor. Like, your ick, like, you yeah, man, that's my ick, man. Me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. definitely the loudest <laughs> in the club, so. What, you're around all the bottles in that, innit? To the I'm very not, last I don't drop. even know. I'm backstage. <laughs> that sounds wrong. That's it, ick as well, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I can't lie. You got a f off. Oh, oh man. Sorry, you should have got up when I buzzed you first time. Now you're just asking for another buzz. It was good, man. You know what? I like my girl's assertive, man. She was quite assertive and straightforward, like straight to the point. I would link her because I feel like she challenges me. Like I don't like no easy girl. I like a girl that a bit. You know what I mean? She got a bit of backbone to her. These men are pussies because I've had that thing buzz me and I don't. Know hurt. That does not hurt. So can you define what an A girl is? An A girl. You know the ones all up in the club, hey, like all the bottles, like drinking up all my bottles, you know. Need to allow that, man. Need to allow it. <laughs> Boom, bow, bing, bang. This was my last day, and f all. you gave me a man that lost his virginity to a hooker. Then you gave me a man that's just judging me for being into pegging. Do you know what? The selection was still better than last time. At least they were all of age. I'll give you that. I'm starting to think that I might be the problem and not the men, but f it. apparently love is not for me. I'll make money instead, so it's all right. What, are you still in hopes of finding love? At this point, no. I think I just need to buy a new vibrator. Have you got a back? Oh, definitely. I don't know if you can handle it, though. Oh, my God.